Hi friends, here is our new and last Junie B. Jones book that we're going to share together before the end of the school year. This is called Junie B. Jones is a Graduation Girl. Here's what it sounds like on the back. It says, it's kindergarten graduation. All the children in room 9 are excited when they get their bright white graduation gowns. Mrs. says to keep them in their boxes until the big day. But Junie B. Jones just can't help herself. Then, uh-oh, an accident happens. Can Junie B. find a way to fix things? Or will graduation be a spotty, dotty disaster? Oh, that Junie B. is always getting into some mischief, isn't she? I'm going to read two chapters each day together this week. So chapter one is called The Month of Junie. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrix, except I just like, I don't like Beatrix. I just like B and that's all. I was named after the month of Junie because Junie is the month I was born in, of course. And wait till you hear this. Yesterday, I finally had my birthday and now I am six years old. That day was like magic, I tell you. Because on Saturday night when I went to bed, I was only five years old. And then the next morning, boom, I was six. My grandma, Helen Miller, had a happy birthday party for me. She invited my mother and daddy and my grandpa, Frank Miller. Also, she invited my baby brother named Oli. He is seven months old. He did not add that much. I loved my party a very lot. First, I loved my chocolatey cake with white icing. Next, I loved my strawberry ice cream. Plus, also, I loved my balloons and my funny birthday hats and all my happy birthday cards. But mostly, I loved my presents. I got five entire boxes to open, and good news, none of them were closed. Mostly, I got toys and games. Also, I got a tool belt just my size. Plus, my Grandpa Miller gave me my very own plumbing supplies to help fix the toilet. But that is not even the end of all my excitement. Because that night, when Mother tucked me into bed, she reminded me that I am graduating from kindergarten on Friday. My stomach felt jumpy inside when she said that. I quick counted on my fingers. But Friday's only five more days, I said. I did a gulp. That event sneaked right up on us, didn't it? I said, kind of nervous. Mother hugged me. You're not worried, are you, Junie B? She asked. Graduation will be fun, I promise. And you're going to love first grade. But Polly Allen Puffer says that the next year everything will be different, I said. He says that first grade won't have the same kids as room nine does, and so all our classmates will be weirdo strangers. Mother did a frown. Mm, no, 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 that's not true, she said. I'm sure you'll know a lot of children in your class next year, Junie B. But even if your best friends aren't in your room, you will still be able to play with them at recess, right? I nodded my head kind of slow. Yeah, I guess so, I said. Plus, Polly Allen Puffer says that we will be the boss of all the kindergarten kids, so that will be fun probably. And also he says our brains and our feet will double in size. Mother stared at me a real long time. Hmm, that Polly Allen Puffer is a fountain of knowledge, she said, very quiet. After that, we talked some more about graduation and first grade. And guess what? The next day at school, my teacher talked about it even more. Her name is Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. and that's all. Mrs. clapped her hands real happy. Well, this is it, boys and girls, she said. Graduation week is finally here. At 7 o'clock on Friday evening, room 8 and room 9 will have our graduation ceremony together. And of course, the children in morning kindergarten will be graduating too. So every single one of you will receive a diploma. I springed out of my chair, very thrilled. A diploma? A diploma? I love a diploma, I shouted. Just then I did a teensy frown. It's not closed, correct? I asked. A meanie boy named Jim laughed real loud. Ha, you Goonie B. Jones, you don't even know what a diploma is, he said. I stamped my foot at that boy. Oh, yes, I do too, Jim, I said. I know perfectly well what it is, but I am not even the teacher here, so I will let her explain it to the class. I sat down and smoothed my skirt. Then I pointed to Mrs. Okay, go, I said. Mrs. wrinkled her eyebrows at me. 
As I was about to say, a diploma is a certificate that says you've completed part of your education. As you go through school, you'll get several diplomas, she said, but this one will be your first. Oh, I springed up on him again. And guess what else, Mrs? I'm not even afraid of first grade anymore, because I'll be getting big brains and big feet. Mrs. said, sit down to me. Then she told me more about graduation. She said that as a treat for our families, we will be making them special graduation invitations. And so that we will have, and so that will be our activity for the day. Yippee, I said. I love making invitations, Mrs. On account of that does not even sound like learning. After that, I clapped and clapped. And all of room nine clapped with me. Because graduation week was starting off like a charm. Chapter two is called Rhymes. I sat at my table very nice. Mrs. passed out colored paper for our invitations. Also, she passed out curly ribbon and lace and paste and bottles of sparkly glitter. Just a reminder, she said, we do not paste glitter in our eyebrows and we do not put lace up our noses and above all, we do not glue curly ribbon to our heads and pretend that it's long hair. She looked and looked at me. I squirmed in my seat a little bit. Cause that woman has a memory like a hawk, I tell you. Finally, Mrs. went to the board and she picked up the chalk. On the inside of our cards, we're going to write a poem about graduation. Does anyone have any ideas for the first line? My friend named Grace waved her hand all around in the air. Roses are red! Roses are red! She called out. Yes, hollered room nine. Roses are red! Mrs. smiled. She wrote it on the board for us. Okay, now what about the second line? She asked. Room nine hollered again. Violets are blue! Violets are blue! Mrs. wrote that line too. Very good, class, she said. Now, who can think of a third line? Maybe we should try to mention something about graduation in this one. Does anyone have any ideas? A shy boy named William stood up next to his table. Graduation is here, he said, kind of nervous. Mrs. grinned real big. <gasps> Excellent job, William. Excellent. She pointed, printed it on the board. All right, there's just one more line to go, she said. Let's try to make the last word rhyme with the word blue. Okay, she read the first three lines out loud to us. Roses are red, violets are blue, graduation is here. Room nine thought and thought. Then all of a sudden, rhymes started coming from all over the place. My dress will be new, called Lucille. My dad's name is Lou, called Jamal Ha. We made it, woohoo, called Linny. Just then, Polly Allen Puffer springed out of his chair and he started laughing his head off. The zoo is P.U., he shouted his loudest. And then all of room nine laughed our heads off too, because P.U. is the silliest rhyme we ever heard of. Mrs. clapped her mad hands together. Boys and girls, that's enough, she grouched. She hurried to Polly Allen Puffer's table and she put him back in his seat. I do not appreciate that kind of behavior, young man, she said. We're going to write a nice class poem here, Polly Allen, and your rhyme was entirely inappropriate. After that, I tried to stop giggling, but that silly poem kept staying inside my head. And then, out of nowhere, another funny poem popped right into my brain, and I couldn't even hold it inside me. I quick jumped out of my chair. Roses are red, violets are blue, Graduation is here, and your feet smell like stink, I shouted. After that, room nine could not even control themselves again, because that poem was the funniest thing they ever heard. My teacher's eyes got big and wide at me. Junie B. Jones, didn't you hear a word I just said? She said, very annoyed. Then Mrs. hurried to my table, and she took me into the hall, and she pointed me straight to the office. Oh, that Junie B, her mouth gets her in trouble, doesn't it? Tomorrow's chapter is called A Good Chuckle. We'll see what happens when she visits principal. Bye, guys.